No, Ryan, you weren't first. Someone else was. Hello, everyone. I'm back. My YouTube live stream privileges. <laughs> Ian's like, why? Why do people type first? Um, my YouTube live streaming privileges have, be re have been reinstated. They've been up for a while. I just haven't uh, really done anything live. So, yeah. The title of this video, and I'm actually out here at this beautiful dam location. I just put the drone up, got some nice footage. I'm out here in the middle of the country on these beautiful country roads that you're going to see here in my full video. That'll be posted to the channel probably next week. But I'm out here to say goodbye to the Ninja H2. In a few moments, I'm going to launch it right into the lake here to never be seen again. No, I'm joking. I won't uh, put it in the lake. But I am getting rid of my Ninja H2. Uh, and the reason why is because I'm getting the 2019 Ninja H2. And I'll go into great detail on the whole video as to why I'm getting the 2019. But uh, in short, it's a better bike. Um, has a lot of things that appeal to me, such as a beautiful thin film transistor um, gauge cluster, finally. And so I'm basically doing this for you guys, because the nighttime SmackDown footage with these horrible gauges, and I can call them horrible now, because in comparison, this LCD gauge is horrible compared to a thin film transistor <clears throat> TFT gauge. And at night, you can't see much when we're doing SmackDowns, but the new gauge cluster, you'll be able to see everything. Everything will be outstanding. The bike also has more power and it has a self-healing paint, which if you get small scratches on it over time, the paint will mend itself. Um, no, it's only 7,200 something miles this bike, if I'm not mistaken. 7,762.4 miles. So this bike will probably have a solid 8,000 miles on it when I get rid of it. And the way I'm going to get rid of it is I'm going to offer it to my uh, Patreon folks first at a nice discount. Uh, I think the suggested retail price for this bike used with about 8,000 miles on it is about $20,000. So I think I'm going to offer it to my Patreons for a lot less than that. I'm going to make them sign a waiver saying that they will not resell the motorcycle. So you can't just buy this bike and then resell it and make the profit. No, this is going to be for somebody that's interested in an H2, wants to keep it for themselves. I'm going to sell it to them at an awesome price. Now, I'm going to strip all of the parts off this bike, except for the exhaust. So all of this beautiful carbon fiber, it's going bye-bye. It's actually going to be used, reused on my 2019. This fabulous carbon fiber rear subframe, I'm keeping that, I'm keeping every single carbon fiber piece, including the stock to Brox piece right there. But I will... Uh, leave the exhaust on the motorcycle and the ECU flash that's currently in this motorcycle of course will be left in it as well. So the bikes want to come with the stock wheels because I'm taking off my beautiful BST wheels. Um, the stock wheels mind you have zero miles on them. Absolutely no miles on the stock wheels. It'll come with a new set of tires or a better set than these because these are shot. Um, so Zach and I, well, Zach, not I, Zach is going to take those tires off. He's going to put on a better set of tires that I have lying around, um, Bridgestone RS10s. And uh, we're going to make this thing available for my patrons. I'm going to leave the screen on there for you, lucky patrons. You get the windscreen. Obviously, I'm going to leave the tank pads on. I'm not going to take all this stuff off. I'm going to leave the Z Technique carbon fiber piece on there but yeah I think it'll be a good buy for whoever is really in the market for an H2 all right let's see let's see some of the questions we might have here um, <laughs> Ebe, do you time through the ECU or power 
Um, this has all been flashed through the ECU with Don Ghoul. Um, I don't think there's a power commander on this bike. Okay. Yeah, so how you guys been doing? I haven't done a live stream in such a long time. What's my next purchase? Uh, 2019 H2 and that'll probably be it. Do I have plans to come back to Orlando? I'm not sure. I might be going down to Miami to do some work with Manny at Moto Million. So if that happens, then I'll stop through Orlando. But all of those decisions will be made and uh, I will update you guys on the YouTube channel. Whoa, lots of questions. Uh, what are the goodies on the 2019 H2? Uh, a better gauge cluster is TFT now. It's got more power, it has self-healing paint. Um, just to name three things off the top of my head. Oh, it has better brakes. Yeah, how could I forget that? It has the new Brembo Style Lima uh, brake calipers up front, which are currently on my uh, V4 Speciale. So yeah, it's got better brakes and a bunch of other stuff. Dirty 1000, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the compliment. Uh, why are you going to get the H2 carbon? Um, no, I'm not because I already have all this carbon. So all of my carbon that's on this bike, I'm going to, I'm keeping it. Zach's going to put the stock plastic stuff back on it. And then we're going to offer it to my Patreons for sale first at a great discounted price. Um, on the condition that they will not resell the motorcycle. And then if no one buys it through Patreon, then I will make it available uh, to everyone else on YouTube. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, how much is the 2019 H2? I'm not sure. Uh, David Tran Media, thanks for the two bucks. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, I don't think prices have been announced yet. I contacted my dealer where I purchased my first two H2s. A lot of you guys might not realize that I had a 2015 H2. Um, and then I sold that to Uncle Ben and then I bought a 2016. I bought them both from the same dealership. And I've contacted them and let them know that I'm interested. They put my name on the list. But officially, you can't order the motorcycle until October. But uh, I will get the very first one that they bring in. Not that that means much because the weather will be crappy here anyway. I'm sure when the bike finally arrives. All right. Any inside info on the 2019 S1000? Heck yeah. I got some awesome inside info that I'm going to share with you guys because I'm going to pull this video down. Uh, a little bit later on today, but here is the scoop on the brand new 2019 S1000RR. It will have symmetrical fairings, so both sides of the fairings will be identical this time. It will also have symmetrical headlights, so uh, both sides of the headlights will be identical. The headlights will be LED. The um, instrument cluster will be TFT, a very big and bright TFT display. It will have more power from an all new engine. They've been using the same engine in the S1000 since 2010. So for eight years, they've got away with using that potent and powerful engine. They're finally upgrading it. It's gonna produce more power. It's gonna have cross counter rotating crankshaft, just like the Ducati V4, which should make it a better handling motorcycle, which has been a complaint for a lot of people uh, that ride their S1000s on the track. So I'm extremely excited. My only hope and is this for the S1000. Traditionally, when the S1000 is new, the first year it comes out, it has horrible colors. Uh, the first year it came out in 2010, it had that pea green color, the motorsports, and, and black. And that was horrible. When they restyled it in 2015, it had that ugly all red with the white fairings on the side. That was horrible. Uh, and then later on, after the bikes have been out for a couple years, they improve upon the colors like they did with now Salah's bike for the 2018. It has a beautiful red and white and black color. So my only hope is that when it comes out all new for 2019, that they bring it out with some awesome colors. Okay. You have the red, white. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. But uh, compared to the 2018 red, white, and black, the 2015 just doesn't stand up in my opinion. All right. What's faster, the H2 or the V4? That's a great question, Street Rossi. I raced a um, H2 on my V4 in Baltimore, which was part of my um, V4 SmackDown series. 
that video is going to come out on Saturday. Now, the H2 was bone stock. It just had an exhaust on it. It did not have its ECU flashed. And my V4 destroyed it. I beat the guy. Now, having said that, um, the V4 cannot beat a bike like this that's been flashed. It cannot beat an H2 that's been flashed. And we will put that to the test once I get my V4 back from the dealership. Uh, because I'll let you guys in on something else. My V4 had a little problem. Uh, there's a guy there on a the boat. It had a problem. Um, after racing the folks in Baltimore, some of you guys might already know this. After racing the folks in Baltimore a couple weeks ago, my V4 started being coolant. And uh, we didn't know why it was happening. It only, it would only happen when we came to a stop. It wouldn't happen while I was riding the bike. But it started leaking coolant. And I thought it was a hose initially, so I took it into the shop, determined that it was not a hose, it's a bad water pump. So my V4 has a bad water pump. It's been at the shop for two weeks now. They had to order the part from Italy. Italy is on a month long vacation for the entire month of August. So I'm not gonna get that part until September sometime at this point. Um, which I'm a little disappointed about that. And that clearly knocks the V4 Speciale off my list for my favorite motorcycle. You cannot be my favorite bike if you freaking break down and I, and I don't have access to it for a month. No, so it's not gonna be my favorite bike anymore. Uh, one of my favorite bikes, and I'm gonna make a video about this, what my favorite bike is, it definitely has to be reliable. Um, it definitely has to not cause me issues and not be down for a freaking month. All right. Yes, I'm coming back to um, to Baltimore. I'm not sure if it's going to be September 1st because I just realized September 1st is Labor Day weekend. And the roads are going to be just jam-packed with people and police. So we may have to change that date. How many miles on my V4? 3,000 miles. But... And so Ducati tells me this. They say, hey, you know, they've, they've watched my videos, obviously, and everything. They're like, hey, you pretty much ride your V4 more aggressively than anyone that we know of uh, or any other uh, V4 owner, probably. And I can agree to that. I mean, my good buddy Ducati Spacers, he obviously doesn't ride his V4 like I do. Um, my good buddy, the Speed Bug does not ride his V4 like, like I do. So yeah, they have a point. I do, you know, push it to the limit on the V4, but that's what the hell it's made for. Um, and I, I realize that a bad water pump is just, it's not a, it doesn't mean it needs a recall or anything. It's not gonna happen to probably anyone else's bike, but it's still disappointing that I won't have access to the motorcycle for four to six weeks because of that. How much power do they project 2019 S1000. They're not, the BMW never puts out preliminary numbers because they don't like to be proven wrong. But I can tell you this, it'll definitely have more horsepower than the current bike, which is uh, said, said to have 199 horsepower. Did they give me a loaner? Hell no, they didn't give me a loaner. Um, and I don't really need a loaner. As you, as, you, as you know, I have other bikes to ride. And uh, I'm going to be making an awesome video here probably tomorrow. But uh, I'll let you guys in on another secret. My um, BMW HP4 has gone through a complete overhaul. And I have lots of awesome new parts on the bike. Um, and I'm just excited to pick it up tomorrow from, from Zach at Sills. And make a video on that. And, uh, and, and enjoy riding that bike. I'm going to ride the HP4 uh, while the V4 is getting worked on. Um, am, I ever going, am, I ever, am I ever going to visit New York? Yes, I'm trying to plan that with my good buddy Clutch first. Um, so we'll see when that happens. All right, what's my favorite bike? Uh, right now, it's definitely leaning towards the R1M. It's a very reliable motorcycle. It's never given me any issues. It's great to ride. Has all the stuff that I look for on a modern sport bike. Auto blipper, quick shift all that cool stuff it's somewhat comfortable where am i i'm at a place called atwood dam but i'm going to make a visit i'm going to make a video about that what my favorite bike is i'm not going to say the r1m is my favorite bike just yet because you went on another secret all these secrets being being revealed during this live stream 
Uh, I am picking up a brand new 2018 Yamaha R1M uh, within the next three weeks or so, uh, directly from Yamaha. So Yamaha, they're my good buddies. I absolutely love the guys at Yamaha. They totally get me. They totally get what I do, my passion for all this uh, and all that cool stuff. And I am getting an R a 2018 R1M and I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of parts on it and stuff, carbon fiber wheels, an awesome exhaust. Uh, I'm actually gonna take it down to Freddy at Superbike Unlimited and he is going to modify the bike and add more power to it. Because I've told Yamaha, in my opinion, the only thing the Yamaha R1M is lacking is just a little more power. Um, with the exception of outspoken Tiger, uh, I really haven't seen anyone um, really successful at SmackDowns besides the outspoken Tiger on the R1M. But uh, the 2018 that I'm picking up here real soon, we're taking it over to Freddy at Superbike Unlimited. We're going to make an awesome video of him modifying the engine to make it more powerful and a few other things that he's going to do to it. And then we're going to work with Manny at Motor Million to get a whole bunch of awesome parts installed onto the, onto the beast. And then I'll be able to make a video, the 2018 R1M versus the 2018 Ducati V4 and all the rest of my bikes. And we will for once and for all, figure out which one is my favorite bike. Show myself. All right, this is myself. <laughs> I'm just uh, hanging out here, burning up in this heat. It's 90 something degrees right now. But uh, this is me. This is what I'm doing out here. I wish I was in that water right behind me on somebody's boat. But nobody's invited me. They've seen me up here. Been here for like two hours with the drone flying and hanging out. Nobody's said, hey, come on down here and get in our boat off. But whatever. What's happening to the H2? For all of you joining us in progress, I am uh, selling my H2 for the 2019 Ninja H2. I'm going to offer it to my Patreon uh, people first at an, at an awesome discounted price on the condition that they don't resell it, that they keep it for their personal use. If no one buys it on Patreon, I will then offer it uh, to everyone else. The last time I offered, my, I made a video selling my RSV4, it sold in two days. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this bike will sell really quick. It's an awesome bike. For those of you joining us late, I'm taking off all of my carbon fiber um subframe all the carbon fiber panels the carbon fiber wheels i'm leaving the uh beautiful brox exhaust on the bike the ecu's already flashed i'm leaving the windscreen and i will leave the brox lowering links so this bike is already lowered three quarters of an inch which makes it launch a lot better uh, and it does not affect handling and all that on the bike i'm gonna you know put the stock wheels on it the stock plastics and offer it for sale on Patreon first. And there we go. Is the clutch fixed? Hell yeah, the clutch is fixed, man. Uh, my good buddy, uh, Michael, from Kennedy Sports Cycle, uh, totally fixed my freaking clutch. And I thank you for mentioning that because I'm going to talk about that when I start vlogging on this thing here real soon. Because I'm about to hit these beautiful country roads and I'm going to vlog about that. Got my vlogging gear ready to go. I'm using my new Cena 30K. Sounds awesome. Here we go. Hello from Scotland. Hey guys, hey, start it up. Sure, I could do that. Since you guys have been so patient with me as I babble along here, start this sucker up so you can hear it. Here we go. Pretty much the only thing I'm going to miss on this bike compared to the new uh, 2019 that I'm getting are the gauges. I really love the fact that you don't um, see the numbers on the tack until you rev the engine and you roll over them. Here, take a look at that, guys. That is totally different on the new one. They have fixed 
numbers. So take a look. See that number one there? And some numbers are missing. Like there is no number five. You can kind of see that. If you look closely at the gauge, you see a one, the two's not lit, three's not lit, and whatnot. But watch this. I kind of like that. There's no five. It goes from four to six. Now that is the only thing I'm going to miss about this bike. So my full video on this, uh, on my decision to sell the bike and everything that's going to post on my channel next week, it's going to have pictures of the gauges from the new bike and all that so you can see it. I'll even do a side-by-side -side comparison of both the gauges and stuff. And uh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Is the R6 a good choice? Yes, it's a perfect bike for your first bike. Track days, yes. I'm doing track day. I'm doing a track day on Monday, the 20th, at the Mid Ohio Sports Car Course. My good buddy Nate Kern will be there, so it should be awesome. Unfortunately, my V4 Speciale won't be there, but I will be riding my R1M on the track um, that has a whole bunch of awesome new track stuff, uh, racing slicks and all whole bunch of stuff i can't even remember what zach put on that bike oh new brakes so my r1m has a complete brembo braking system complete uh calipers rotors master cylinder even brake pads everything's brembo on the r1m uh i recommend the 2017 and above our r6 and someone asked me if i'm coming to south when am i coming to south carolina i'm not sure it's going to be in september sometime i'm working out those details with freddie from Superbike Unlimited. I'll be there for a couple of days because he's gonna be working on my 2018 R1M for a couple of days and I'm gonna bring another bike to ride while I'm there. So please follow the channel. I'm gonna make announcements, letting you all know when I'll be there uh, sometime in September. When am I coming to Vegas? Uh, I might be going to Vegas for the uh, ICMA convention uh, here in September. I'm still waiting to see if that's gonna happen. All right. When am I going to come back to Texas? Never. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll be back at Texas for MotoGP next year, but I'm going to be flying in. Um, I won't be trailering my bikes out to Texas anymore. That's a 24-hour drive. So I'm going to be racing Outspoken Tiger. Uh, he is from Texas, I believe, but we're meeting at a central location that's 12 hours away from each of us. So uh, we're both going to drive 12 hours, meet up, and do some awesome smackdowns. He'll be on his R1M. I'll be on my V4 Speciale along with Donnie Brasco. Donnie Brasco is actually going to race the Outspoken Tiger on my bike and his own because they both weigh the same. They both weigh 160. I outweigh the Tiger by quite a bit. So, yeah. Yep, I'll be in Atlanta sometime soon, too, because I got to pick up my uh, R1M from um, Yamaha near the Atlanta area. So please stay tuned to the channel. I'll let you guys know when I'll be there. All right. How come I haven't streamed in so long? Because my live stream privileges have been suspended for 90 days way back in April when I did a live stream photo GP and it showed some of the racing and it was copyright, copywritten stuff and they suspended me for 90 days never going to do that again but having said that i'm not going to do live streams very much either because from what i understand well the quality kind of sucks i don't know how the quality is on this live stream i don't know if it's an hd 720 or above but usually you know sometimes you get 240 sometimes 480 all right guys that's going to wrap it up i'm going to get out of here and do some more vlogging on the bike Stay tuned for the video. Potato quality, yeah, I know. Stay tuned for the full video. I'm going to remove this one from the channel probably tomorrow. But there's going to be a full, nicely produced video of drone footage and everything from this area. I'm going to be talking about why I'm getting rid of my H2, making it available to my Patreon subscribers first at a deeply discounted rate, and then to everyone else if no one buys it on Patreon. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little while. I'm going to uh, put all that gear on behind me on this 90 degree day and continue my country ride, my last country ride on my 2016 H2 before I get rid of it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.
I forgot how to end this damn thing. I haven't done this in such a long time. And I think this is how you do it.